Hello! Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the Queensland Healer. And it is a bit of a stretch to put this as the letter Q dog, but you know, there was not a lot of options for today's video. So I went with the Queensland Healer. So <laughs> welcome to this video. I also wanted to show you guys that we did receive some samples of our cases. And this is one of them of the new fee that we did. We also received stickers and they come in a bunch of different sizes. They're really high quality. And let's put two minutes on the clock and let's get it started. So the Queensland Healer, also known as the Australian Cattle Dog or the Blue Healer or even the Red Healer, is a breed of herding dog that originated in Australia. Its history can be traced back to the 19th century when early settlers of Queensland, a state in Northern Australia, required a hardy and versatile dog capable of herding and driving cattle over long distances in harsh and demanding conditions. The breed's development began in the 1800s when European settlers in Australia brought their working dogs, including collies and other British herding breeds, to the continent. These dogs were highly skilled at herding livestock, but were not well suited to the demanding Australian environment. In order to create a dog better suited for the Australian climate and terrain, the early settlers began to crossbreed their herding dogs with the native Australian dingo. The dingo contributed several desirable traits, including resilience, endurance, and an innate ability to handle livestock. The resulting crossbreed was initially known as blue healers due to their speckled coat color, which was common in the breed. The term healer refers to the breed's herding style, where they nip at the heels of the cattle to move them. The blue healers quickly gained popularity as exceptional working dogs due to their intelligence, agility, and determination. In the early 20th century, the breed's characteristics were further refined by the efforts of a cattle breeder named Robert Kaleski, and Kaleski recognized the breed's potential and sought to establish it as a distinct breed with standardized traits. He introduced the name Australian Cattle Dog and played a significant role in promoting and popularizing the breed. So the breed became known and recognized by the Australian National Kennel Council in 1903 and later by the American Kennel Club in 1980. Today, the breed is valued not only for its herding abilities, but also as a loyal and energetic companion. It excels in various dog sports, including obedience, agility, and fly ball, and is highly rewarded for its intelligence, loyalty, and working instincts. This breed is suited for individuals that are either farmers, ranchers, or very, very active individuals who are going to dedicate a lot of time to entertaining the mental needs of this dog, as well as their exercise needs. So if you are looking to get a blue healer, just make sure that you have the time and the space available for this dog to do what it does best. Queensland healers are highly energetic and require ample exercise to keep them physically and mentally stimulated. They require regular, vigorous exercise, such as long walks, runs, or engaging in dog sports. Queensland healers thrive when provided with mental challenges. They excel in tasks that involve problem solving and learning new skills. So keeping them mentally engaged is important to prevent boredom and potential behavioral issues. So this was a very fun painting to do. I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was actually quite easy to figure out how to do it, which was very satisfying. And I love how it came out. So I hope you guys liked it too, and I'll see you guys on the next one.